guys, we got a nice scrambled eggs, peanut butter English muffin, and orange, and a Bruce. <laughs> so today, guys, I want to get that petunia planted I got. And I got to brush off more keys. When do they stop falling, hun? Do they ever stop falling? Oh, yeah. I wonder if in Florida they have, if that's why they call it the Keys. <laughs> Florida Keys. Is that why? What? What? I don't know. I don't think they have maple trees there. No? Well, if they did, they could get some nice maple syrup. You don't know. They might have trees. Yeah, they have trees, but no. Unless they import them. You hear that bird? Wolf bird. Hmm? We're just not going to overdo it. We're going to have leftover tacos. And I have a little bit of corn on the cob I can cook with it. And how's your work going, huh? How's work? They're always asking how you're doing at work. All right, clean, 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 and keep it clean. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get in the plant, we got to be thermal imaged. See if we have a temperature or not. And they have a gun, too. So yesterday, were you on wiping or? or I thing? was the sanitary guy. One of us. They have two janitors for right now, and one sanitizes everything, anything people touches. Even our, I even go in the maintenance rooms and because they touch everything there. So it's all. For the COVID-19, that's by the law, they, you have to do it or you can't be open, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's all crazy. Well, that's good. Enjoy her. This is brunch, I guess. Mm -hmm. Joining me in this one. Yes, you are. Well, just grab a side. Then we put the bag inside again. Thank you, guys. What happened after you ate the seeds, son? <laughs> You're a nut. Don't do that. <laughs> Stop it! Jesus, are you hungry? You don't feed well, me. Well, sunflower seeds are edible. I don't know about these ones, though. Why, the oh. birds eat them? The oh. birds eat them. Jeez, you guys are nuts. A bunch yeah. of nuts. I'm gonna put you in the feeder, you bunch of nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna hang up my sign for me, you guys. We're gonna get our sign hung up. Yeah, straight, right? This is gonna look beautiful under that chicken. It really is. <laughs> I love that chicken. That's perfect, hun. Watch you guys don't pull away. Can you put my bell on my bike? Moral. No, come on. Get my bell on my bike, you guys. I'll be taking you for a ride around the neighborhood today. Show you the neighborhood. You'll think you're an ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Pretty loud, eh? Well, Coke, we gotta go in, make the bed, do the dishes. You gonna do all that for me? Huh? You look like you need a rest. 
Do you need a nap? Huh? You ready to go for a bike ride today? Huh? You ready to go for another bike ride later on? Now we have a bell. Yeah. Now we have a bell. He's spoiled. He's spoiled. <laughs> you have his belly, Nate. He was looking for you. <laughs> spoiled little brat. Zen got in trouble this morning landing on the screen. He's trying to get outside with us. Right? But Coco Stroller come for outside. <laughs> Are you excited? This one's going to be for outside, Coco. Then I don't have to keep lugging the other one outside. Yeah. Nathan's got to get it open for you. Okay, let's open her up and see what it looks like. Go find. Come on, Coke. Okay, I want to find a spot to hang my bird feeders here, back here. And, uh, oh, I, uh, dropped this one and seeds are all over the porch. I'll have to sweep that up. But I got this container I'll put in my garden shed. It's got... Peanuts and uh, seeds in it. Sunflower seeds. So let's find a spot. Maybe over there would be good. They're all over there. Let's go over there and look. I just seen a hummingbird, you guys. So I'm cleaning out the hummingbird feeder. <laughs> yeah, Bruce said he's seen some. Yeah, let me go rinse this out. So a couple people asked me if it works. If they work, yes they do. <laughs> work for uh, Oreos too. <laughs> I haven't seen the Oreo today since I put my Oreo feeder up. We're going to have to make some more. Um, I'm going to make the normal batch this time because I have a few of these jars that we can store in the fridge. Yeah. Let's see if we get any takers. Let's hang her up. Okay, so I'm going to show you my little project here. I do it every year. I found these in the garbage, but you're going to look for two bowls. Like, you don't want them too high. You want them pretty low. And you can pick up marbles from the dollar. Uh, and you just put the marbles in there. And you fill these with water. And it helps to give the, the bees will get a drink out of it. Every time you water your flowers, just fill it with a little bit of water. And put them with your flowers, and it will help the bees. The bees will help your flowers, right? Let me go put them where I'm going to put them, and I'll show you. Okay, so just put enough water so they can get a little drink without drowning. Don't fill it up full. And every day it might get dried out, so just fill it a little more. And I got one there, and I got one there. They're also pretty and add character and color to your garden. Yeah. Also, another tip is if you get these kind of feeders, they don't throw the bird seed all over. And this is black seed oil. So, this is a garden where I don't care if it falls, then sunflowers will grow. So, I, I always can put, I'll, I will just put this kind of feeder in because it doesn't get messy. It doesn't get, like, food everywhere. And if it does spill, it'll grow sunflowers. So, I do that, and then I do a peanut one. Now, the peanut one... I don't have anywhere to hang it. I don't have any more uh, hooks. Oh, maybe I see one over there. Hang on. 
Well, you guys, I found this hook. And it has three hooks on it. I gotta ask Bruce, what am I doing wrong? Why won't that hang straight? He'll know. But I got sunflower seeds, peanut, and grape jelly. And then I got a hummingbird feeder right there. I also have one here. And uh, Coco, stop. Uh, we're, I was bonus buying that one. I knew I had it, but sometimes you don't remember where you put things. So when Bruce, tomorrow I ask him, how come my thing's not hanging straight with the change? He'll know. Anyways, there you go. Like, make sure it's a garden where you don't have, uh, where you don't want sunflower seeds growing. But I do. I, I don't. I would love to have sunflower seeds growing in this garden. So there you go. Oh, that is gonna drive me crazy till tomorrow. Yes, it is. <laughs> You ready to go for a bike ride? Okay. Oh, you are cute. Look at the baby Robin. Right by Louise. Oops. She's just a baby. Yeah. You be nice, Louise. Get out of there. Okay, hold on, Coke. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, there's a deer out there. I see a deer, you guys. Yeah, right there. You see the deer? Is it the mama? There she is. There she is. Okay, we'll just bring you around the neighborhood a little bit. That's the deer across the road. And there's Louise over there having a rest. <laughs> and we're off, you guys. Oh, I hope I can get used to this. I have to go slow, so don't mind me. Okay, we have lots of cottage people along the lake here. Yeah. Okay, Coco does not behave in the car, on the bike. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go. Uh, what I love living around here is every house is different. Yeah, every size and shape. There's not one house the same. Yeah, that's what I mostly love about around here. I'm getting used to the bike, guys. I'm doing better. Yeah. This is another way you can see the lake down this way. Yeah. Let's go check out the lake today. There's some jet skis out there. Oh, a boat. Yeah. Oh, the 
looks good. Nice and cool. It's best to wait to around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Oh, jeez. You not behaving. <laughs> I always love this place here on the corner. It's so cute. Yeah. Okay. Let's go down this way. Coco can't go far. I gotta go in the morning by myself. Sandy's good though. Coco, in his older age, he just, he just uh, doesn't want to do these things, I guess. He wants me to hold him while I ride a bike. He wants me to hold him while I drive. It's never busy. These roads are never busy. On your left here is the park where Nate grew up playing in when he was little. Yeah. Sometimes the teenagers go and hang out there in the summer. Let me give you a better view. When he was little, it wasn't this fancy. But now it's pretty fancy. When he was little, it was just a regular little park. Oh, they have it all fenced off. So you can't even go on there. You see that, guys? Oh, God, you're pointing at the trees. <laughs> Are you? Oh, I don't know. They have it all fenced off. Yeah, all fenced around it. Oh, there goes the kid's fun. Oh, you stop it. Okay. I hope you weren't parking up too far the whole time I've been driving. <sighs> hope you're liking your ride, you guys. Let me know. I'll bring you on more. Got lots of places to go around here. And Bruce said he wants to get his bike out, too. Yeah. See, this is where I have a little problem turning the quarters. <laughs> but I can do it. Okay, let's see how I do this corner. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna tip all the time. Sit down. You guys stay. Okay, I almost had it. There we go. We got it. That's a beautiful cottage someone built on the right last year or the year before. A bunch of them go there. Yeah. What a noise. Oh, look at the wisteria bushes. I love them. Yeah. Behave. Here's the lake. Once you come in here, you gotta go out the same way. There's no road. It's all lake. So you gotta go in the same way you come out. You gotta go out. The same way you come in. <laughs> I had that wrong. <laughs> okay. I wish one of you guys lived around here. We could walk and go biking together. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. There's another cottage up here on the left, right there. Americans, they don't come very often. I'll show you when we're going to turn up here. It's right here on your left. Ugh. 
Ooh, yeah, this one right here, right here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys off and get Coco home. Okay, we're home, guys. Bruce took my van to work. He's getting some wood. Here's the girls. <laughs> hey, girls! <laughs> oh, isn't it the best life? Oh, come home and see chickens. Okay, boss man's talking. Yeah. This is my bike shed that Bruce built for my three wheeler. It goes in here, and it's easy to get to. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna put put it away. Yeah, I'll show you when I close the doors. See that? I just close the doors. Oh. He's so handy. <laughs> He's a handy guy to have around. I'm pretty sure this is all scrap wood, metal roof, tin roof, laying around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we were going to have corn on the cob with our tacos. I'm just going to have leftover tacos. And I'm pretty sure I got a few of those chips left. Yes, I do. Yeah, so that's what we're going to have. And then we can have a little... I, I ate a lot of strawberries. I gave Bruce some in his lunch. But uh, strawberries, um, cherries. I ate a lot of cherries. Tomorrow we're going to go to Costco. Oh, I better put cream cheese on my list because I want to get some strawberries there and make more of that dip. Yeah. So I'm just going to heat my dinner in the microwave. I'm going to get... Burger King for lunch, and I think I'm going to get Costco chicken. <laughs> now I might pick up the salad there. Bruce, he really enjoys the uh, the macaroni salad at Costco they have. He loves it. I might pick that up, but I'm going to cook the corn tomorrow with with the and have roasted uh, rotisserie chicken. Oh, that sounds good, eh? Yeah. Anyways, let me go heat this up. So tomorrow, yeah, we're going to Costco tomorrow and uh, we're not getting a bunch of stuff. We're getting a few things. I want strawberries and I want grapes. They, mm, I don't know why I'm craving those, but that's good. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to make up our hummingbird drink right now. I'll show you guys. Okay, one cup of sugar, four cups of water, and that's your sugar water. Bring it to a boil for a couple minutes, shut it off, and let it cool. Store it in your fridge. That's it. Yep, I'm going to put four cups in there. Okay, I'm going to give it a good stir with my whisk. Once it comes to a boil, we'll bottle it up and we'll put it in the garden shed fridge. Oh my gosh, that stroller, I got cost at, I got cocoa. It fit perfectly in my garden shed. This is this old one, but compare it though, that one out there, the wheels, man, you can push it so nicely outside. I got it off a of wish. I've, I've uh, Never ordered anything from Wish. <laughs> it's nice. Really nice. And, uh, yeah, we can go to do some really good trails with that. Oh, what's on you guys? I see a spot. Okay. Let's go heat up our tacos. I'm hungry now. Okay, you guys, there's my dinner. I'm going to call it a night so I can get some plenty of rest. Hopefully get up early to get to Costco. And I'm going to bring you guys with me. So join me tomorrow for more fun. Okay? Good night, everyone.